What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bruce Wang and in today's video, we're gonna talk about growth stocks. In my other video, I talked about how monthly dividends pay out every single month so you can reinvest those dividends and grow your portfolio. But growth stocks are also a great way and a great thing to have in your portfolio. Growth stocks are almost like the opposite of a monthly dividend paying stock. Instead of giving the profits back to the investor, they take those profits and reinvest them into the company. These stocks are great for investors because of the capital gains. You can sell them later on for profit. If you want to join, the links are in the description. When you use that link, you'll be able to get a free stock right when you sign up. Some of the stocks you might be able to get are Berkshire Hathaway, Apple, Facebook, CenturyLink, or, and it's 100% free. There's also no commissions. So that means you can buy one or two stocks without having to pay any commissions to any brokerage. So let's take a look at my portfolio. I am almost at $3,000, guys. This is crazy. I have a, a lot of this has to do with the growth from my stocks, from dividends, and also a lot has to do with some of the uh, referrals that I've gotten. But anyways, let's just take a look here. I'm up $77 today. And after hours trading, I'm only up uh, 80 cents. For the week, I'm up $180. On the month, I'm up $355. On the three month chart, I'm up almost $500. On the year, I'm up about $445. And all time, I'm down $6. So this is pretty crazy. There was a lot of growth in the markets today. The markets were very green for me. I have a tradition of opening up these referral roars from my subscribers. So let's just open them up and hopefully I can get something super rare. Uh, thank you, Daryl. Oh, never mind. Let's just go with Joseph's. So thank you, Joseph. Let's open the one in the middle. I have yet to receive anything super rare. So uh, this is GE. I've owned this company before. I've sold when they, I've sold this company when it was about $11. So now that um, I got one for free, uh, I don't know, I think I might just be keeping it. Let's open this one from Daryl. I'm gonna choose the one in the middle again. And this stock is Groupon, uh, worth $3.36. I'm gonna do this quick because I think I have like two more and I don't wanna take up all your time. So these are some of the rewards that you you might be able to get. So I got Zanga, $5. And uh, the, for the last one, I'm gonna go in down right in the middle again. And I got another stock from GE, $10.17. I have one more stock, let's just open that up as well. So for the last stock, let's just open the one on the left. And Zanga, another free stock from Zanga worth $5. As you can see, I've just received about $30 worth of referral rewards. Robinhood gives you about uh, $500 maximum. So I think I'm almost at that limit, guys. Here is a quick snapshot of some of my monthly dividend stocks. You guys were loving that last video. So I just want to follow up with you on how they've grown in the last week. So I'm gonna show you today's returns. And I haven't seen much growth here, but if you look down low, PSEC and AGNC, I've seen almost $40 worth of growth just today. For, for whatever reason, this stock has been pumping like crazy. Uh, I'm up 2.8% and my position in here, I have 185 shares. So that is why I'm seeing so much gain today. I have, it's because I've had so much uh, equity in this company. And on February 21, I received $9.36 worth of dividends. AGNC is another company very similar to PSEC uh, that has monthly dividends, but that is not what this video is about. Today's video is about growth stocks, and here are my top four growth stocks that I'll be going over. The first growth stock that I wanna go over, I have a love-hate relationship with this company, but right now I am loving it. Uh, on the day, you can see that there is like a 25% gain on this stock. Uh, I'm just speechless when it comes to uh, this 25% gain. I know that this company is a great company. I've been using this company for the last six months. Um, I, use this, I use Zillow to collect my rent money from my tenants. Zillow's earning call just happened and there's a lot of good news. They've generated a lot of revenue in the last quarter. Their CEO is stepping down and their co-founder, Rich Barton, is also stepping into that role. 
And lastly, they are now trying to be the Uber of buying and selling homes. No more real estate agents and going through all that trouble. If you've ever tried to buy or sell a home, uh, you know that it could get very complicated and Zillow wants to take the middleman away from that. So no more real estate agents and uh, you can just buy a house through Zillow. Honestly, I think this might be the future of uh, buying and selling homes. Exactly like how Uber has put uh, taxi cabs out of business and and that is why there's such a big jump in the price today. I started to build my position in Zillow many months ago. Um, my average cost is $37.07. And uh, before, I used to have maybe $200 in this company, but I've been slowly selling off uh, my shares so I can reinvest them in other companies, but I really regret that move. Um, today's return is $17.30, total return $13.28. If I've kept all my shares, I would have uh, made a lot more money. Um, I sold one share off today just to um, just to gain that profit. I sold it at $42.70. But as you can see, I've been buying and selling this company since September 21st. Um, my first purchase was at $43.79. And for whatever reason, Zillow dipped all the way down to $30. And uh, that's where I stopped accumulating Zillow. But at the moment, I'm not planning to buy any more Zillow. I'm going to be patient and uh, wait and see where Zillow is uh, gonna try to trend to. Um, I think, but I think that we have seen the bottom for Zillow and it might be trending up from here on out. The next growth stock that I wanna go over is AMD. I think I've gone over this a few times, but today you can see that there was a almost a 2% growth in Zillow. Um, in the past three months, Zillow has jumped up 31%. So if you got into Zillow around uh, three months ago, which is about the time that I got into, uh, yeah, you've made a lot of money. I got in at an average cost of $18.86. My equity is just under $50, but my total returns is $11. Growth stocks are great, and AMD is one of the growth stocks. A common feature of growth stocks is that they do not pay dividend yields. So as you can see here, dividend yields at zero. Why is that? They take all those profits and reinvest into the company, thinking that it will grow their company a lot faster. AMD is a technology company. I first learned about it from my crypto mining days, and it is a very uh, big competitor to NVIDIA. And uh, the reason why I'm not buying NVIDIA, which that is what I kind of want to get into, and I'd rather be buying AMD is because of the price point. It is a lot easier to get into AMD. NVIDIA at the moment, it's $160. It's The price is too high for me because I'm only able to invest $100 into my account every, every week. Let's go into my number three growth stock, which is Twitter. Um, I saw Twitter recently uh, drop down like 10%, I think it was like uh, last, within the last month. Here you can see that there's a big drop between February 6 and February 7. And I think I purchased my first share of Twitter on uh, February 7th for $30.90. Again, no dividend yields, but the market cap is pretty big, uh, $23 billion. Uh, this stock did not see much growth today, but um, I recently heard, uh, I recently watched a podcast where Joe Rogan and Jack Dorsey, which is the CEO of Twitter, they got, uh, that podcast got some mixed reviews, but I really believe in the CEO's message. And I think that Twitter is a potential buy if you are looking for uh, a technology company. The fourth growth stock that I'm invested in is Yeti. They produce very premium uh, coolers. I'll, sh uh, I'll show you a picture right here. Um, these coolers, yeah, they're, they're like the iPhones of uh, coolers. I didn't know there was a market for this type of product, but there is. Uh, people who like to fish, people who like to go to the beach, keep, their, keep whatever they need cooled. And, uh, and I'm happy that I bought into this company just a few weeks ago. I bought... Uh, I bought two shares on February 5th for $17.90, and I recently bought one share today. I'm, I'm going to be averaging into this company, maybe buying one or two shares every month. Uh, right now, one share is $24.47. Uh, 
Um, I have three shares, average cost is $20, and my total return so far is $13. For very brand new companies like Yeti, you're gonna see a lot of volatility and you can potentially see a lot of growth. With that being said, growth stocks are a great investment if you uh, pick the right companies with uh, solid fundamentals. In my portfolio, I have a lot of monthly paying dividends and I think that is great for me because I pay, get paid out consistently. And I'm pairing that now with more growth stocks just so I can diversify, not just uh, be so reliant on just monthly dividends. And that's all I have for you in today's video. If you've enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe if you want more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. Stay rich, bye.